This is the 8th of 12 movies coming out this year starring talking animals or featuring it to some degree. Why are there so many movies that do this? Chloe! Chloe! I got a bad situation! Katie brought home a psychopath from the pound! I don't even have a bed now! Ah! Oh! I'm sleeping on the floor, like a dog. The Secret Life of Pets is the latest animated movie done by Illumination Entertainment, and it stars Louis C.K., Kevin Hart, Eric Stone Street, and Jenny Slate. So Louis C.K. is a dog named Max, and he lives with his owner by himself, and then one day his owner brings home a new dog named Duke. And then they escape and get caught up in this underground anti-human ring run by a bunny voiced by Kevin Hart, and Max and Duke are just trying to get home to their owner. I would say as a negative of this movie, it's the plot of Toy Story with the rescue mission from Toy Story 2 and the underground syndicate from Toy Story 3. Except it's not toys this time, it's pets. The animation though for this movie is beautiful. When I saw the budget for the movie and compared to how good the movie looked, it is, the animation is really beautiful. And I thought that the opening shot of New York is a great showcase for the animation. In addition to the opening shot, the sound of the movie sounded brilliant. I don't know whether it was the movie or the cinema, but it sounded great either way. The voice acting I also thought was really interesting, because I do think it's one of the more difficult acting things to do. I thought that the casting for the movie was really good, Louis C.K. as Max was fantastically cast, and he is sarcastically great. And when I say that, I don't mean it sarcastically, I mean the character of Max is sarcastic, and he's great. Kevin Hart was also really good too. I feel he's starting to change from what he regularly does in movies, with Central Intelligence and now The Secret Life of Pets. I really think that he's changing and he's not going to be a small man that screams for 90 minutes. As for some of the negatives in the movie, the jokes didn't hit at all. I think only one joke got me laughing out loud, but there were a few other things that made me smile, but overall there wasn't anything too funny. As for more problems I had with the story, there was one scene that was comparable to the drug trip scene from The Good Dinosaur. It just felt way out of the place in the movie and it took me right out of the movie immediately. There were also emotional plot points in the movie that didn't resonate, because they move too fast in the movie and they just move on to the next scene involving Kevin Hart. And it's like the filmmakers don't believe they can hold on to a child's emotional attention when something happens. The Secret Life of Pets is an okay movie and I was a little disappointed with it. But it's fine for kids and it's the sort of movie that parents put on, parents sit their kids down and they put on for 90 minutes to make them quiet. The Secret Life of Pets is one and done. Have you seen The Secret Life of Pets? What did you think of it? What's your favourite movie featuring talking animals that came out this year? Let me know it in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to become another part of Pie and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh wow, you made it to the end of the video. Good job. How about you click that subscribe button for more content? Or click one of these two videos. You know, either one's good enough.